is not a constant acceleration problem, right? So do not use constant acceleration equations. Can't emphasize that enough, all right? But if we are told our acceleration is 10 minus 0.2 s and we want to find velocity, I'm given an equation for acceleration. I want to find velocity. Is that a derivative or an integral? Yeah, I'm given acceleration. I'm going back up to velocity. That's an integral. Which integral should we use? You've got the formula sheet that you're going to use on the test. Um, acceleration is in terms of S. Let's go to our formula sheet, test one formula sheet. Uh, acceleration is in terms of S. So I'll use that one, right? Acceleration is in terms of S. So I'll use that one. Integral V dV. All right, integral V dV equals integral A dS. So I'm gonna just take the integral of 10 minus 0.2 S. <clears throat> the integral of V dV is not just V, right? Y'all know it's V squared over two. And also, it's not just V squared over two. Let's make this uh, definite integrals, right? From initial to final condition. All right, and then the integral would be 10s minus 0.2s squared over 2. Uh, and this one is also from s initial to s final. All right, so I do have an initial velocity of 5, right? So that's the initial velocity of 5. And so this would be like vf squared over 2 minus 5 squared over 2. And then... If I plugged in S final, determine the velocity when S is equal to 10. So plug in 10.210 squared over two. And, and yeah, I should I plug, if I plug in zero to both of those, they would be zero. And so there's our equation for velocity. I can just solve, right? Punch that into my calculator. 14.3 meters per second, 14.3 meters per second. All right, not too bad. I mean, just take a step back, look at that problem. We were given acceleration in terms of S, take the integral, plug in, make those definite integrals, plug those in.